Is Tesla stock the next big short? Michael Berry, the big short investor, thinks so himself. But on today's episode, I am going to take a look at three reasons at why I'm not sold in the position. So let's get started. All right, so before we begin, let's talk about Michael Berry. If you guys are not familiar with him, he is one of the first investors to really profit out of the big short, out of the housing crisis, right, that happened in 2008. Most likely, if you are some form of investor, you might have either watched the movie or heard about the movie. This might refresh your memory. So now, why am I talking about Michael Berry and Tesla in this video? So Michael Berry runs a hedge fund called Scion Asset Management. And today they presented their 13F report, which kind of shows what the company, what this hedge fund has, what kind of positions they do. And their biggest, biggest position, which is about 40% of their portfolio are on Tesla puts. And we can see from Tesla stock price right now, I mean, there's so much going on around in the market right now. We don't know what's really moving what, but Tesla right is being affected right now by overall growth, the growth stock rotation affected by Elon Musk and his tweets on constant crypto currencies we're also seeing obviously this news right now and then just the overall market still down on interest rates right for those that are not familiar with tesla and i wouldn't know who isn't this is traded under the nasdaq as ticker tsla it's currently sitting at 567 dollars with a market cap of 546 billion dollars and from its 52 week high the stock is down about 36 35.7 percent all right, so now that we understand who Tesla is, now that we understand who Michael Berry is, let me talk about why I'm not sold in this position, right? Or, or, or why I'm not worried. I am a Tesla holder, right? I have a super, super small position, right? Less than probably 2% on my portfolio is on Tesla, but let me just say that. So the first reason why I'm not gonna go and sell out my Tesla position is just because of how the 13F filing will work. The first thing is, right, we can see date reported was today. May 17th. This was for the first quarter of 2021, which ended March 31st of 2021. And if we take a look at Tesla stock price between, which would be the quarter one, which would be January 1st, which would be right here, around right here, and March 31st, which would be somewhere around here, the stock price has already dropped. You don't know if Michael would have purchased um, those puts at this part when the stock price was sitting at 800 and something dollars. And again, this was for the end of March 31st. It has already been almost two months since March 31st. So Michael could have already closed out this position. But I do say taking a look at 13F filings can kind of have that negative, negative look just because of how huge the time lapse can be. Right now, that position can be as old as five months. He, and, and like I said, he could have sold out already. And let me also say, just the way 13F filings work, you can't really go back and kind of reverse engineer what was the strike price, what was the end date. There's not too much information. The only thing we could really see is that it's about 800,000 800, shares. In reality, about 8,000 put options. So th the second reason why I wouldn't follow it is one investor shouldn't really change your mind about a company, right? I mean, you invest in companies. I invest in companies because one, I like the product. I want to see where they're going to go in the future. I, I like their fundamentals. So there's always a lot of bull and bear thesis. And similar, I don't enter positions because other investors are bullish in them. Similar reason why I wouldn't sell out a position if a big bear showed up. Uh, so for me, one investor should not deter you from buying or selling a position. And before we take a look at my third reason, let's listen to today's sponsor. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You guys know I love finding new investing tools and resources to help me scout out new growth stocks. And right now I have a discount for one of my favorite services The Fool offers. Through the Motley Fool Stock Advisor services, you get access to a ton of expert stock picks. Every month, you'll get two new picks that are aimed at growing your wealth and to help you realize your financial goals. Stock Advisor's average stock picks have done amazing returns. If growing your money is something you'd like to do more of this year, you can visit fool.com slash Jose Naharo or click on the link below for access to my special offer and decide if the Stock Advisor is right for you. Thanks again to the Motley Fool and now on to today's video. The third and final reason why I wouldn't sell because of this is fundamentals haven't changed. This company is still expected to grow 25.3% on average for the next three to five years. 
The company is profitable and expected to continue to grow that profitability. They are super, super positive in cash flow from operations, which I'm a little more excited about, right? A, a few bears can definitely talk about those earnings doing being due to credits, um, but the cash flow from operations is definitely super, super strong. And me personally, that's what I enjoy the most. If we also take a look at Tesla's balance sheet, the company has plenty of cash at hand compared to debt, right? So fundamentally, nothing has changed. And for me, it's great to see how other investors move, but it's never going to deter me or change the way I invest. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick video. I hope you guys also learned a little bit about the 13F reports and how they work. I feel like some investors don't know it's out there and some investors might put too much too much weight on them, even though there's such a huge time gap. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take care and have a good night.